Would you like a simple explanation of dictionaries? Well, what is a dictionary? Well, it's a type of store, something you can put things in and take them out. Also called a data structure. So what is a data structure? Well, in computer science, we have data structures based on real life. So for example, a queue, we see people join queues, go from the front, add to the back. Stacks, have a stack of books, we put a book on top, if we want to take one off, we take it off from the top. So they're data structures. They are structures that hold data. In Python we have collections, also where we store things, we can add and remove things. These can be built in, like strings and lists, also sets, tuples and dictionaries. So collections, we have built-in collections and there are also other collections that you can add into Python using modules, such as the stacks and queues we've seen. We've already looked at strings and lists. Remember lists you can access using indexes. A tuple is like a list but it doesn't have so many functions and the items are not changeable the same as in lists. If you want to use tuples you use the round brackets rather than square brackets. Sets are also like a list but you're not allowed duplicates and you can't sort sets. So what are dictionaries? Well instead of using indexes we could use labels. So here we have labels from 0 to 4. We use this in real life, for example, people's name is a type of label. So we have people's names, we can identify them by their name. But if we want to identify people, we have to have a unique name, so no duplicates. So in real life we have some type of identification, such as your passport number, or an account number, or even a student number. So they are unique labels. So here we can add the labels of people's names to the objects. So we can call these a label, we can also call them a key. And that means we can have a key value pair. So we have a key and a value. So for example here we have the key's surname, the valued Smith key first name value John David account number has a value one two three six seven eight so we have the key and the value we see these in tables so here we have scores the key is the name and the value is the score so a dictionary we have these labels or keys and the value so for example here we've got the names are the keys and the scores are the values so that's a dictionary. In code, we can have empty dictionary. We can say dictionary with D-I-C-T and round brackets, or use the curly empty curly brackets. In this example, we have a dictionary called scores, and the keys are the names, and the values are the scores. We can put that all in one dictionary, all of the keys and the values together in the curly brackets if we wish. If we want to add a score we can use the square brackets with the key and the value. We can print that using the dictionary name here scores and the key which in this case is Ian. And we can print a dictionary using a for loop. So here we've got scores we've got for x and y where x is going to be the key and y is going to be the value and then we print them and that will print all the names and the scores in this example what terms have we mentioned dictionary an unordered collection of items with unique labels the label is called a key the item inside that accessed by the key is the value so we have the key value pair the item and its key a collection 
is a store that you can add and delete items similar to a data structure which is accessible and it's structured but it's still a store and finally a module is this additional code that's not built into Python but you can add in if you want to use different data structures for example okay thank you for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe